Hey folks, welcome to Black Gumbo. We're going to talk about battling snails today. These guys have been feasting in my garden. Well, in my garden I've got a lot of snails, and uh, snails eat the leaves of your plants and uh, really feast on them. And, um, well, snails are always going to be in your garden, but they're really easy to deal with. But there are two different ways you can deal with snails, and one of them is perfectly safe and harmless for your garden. In fact, it can be even beneficial to your soil. And the other one is um, not so safe, and um, you should watch out and fight your snails accordingly. So what I like to do is use this product called uh, Slug and Snail Bait, but uh, there's all different kinds of uh, brand names of this Slug and Snail Bait. But what you want to look at and look for is iron phosphate as your active ingredient. Iron phosphate, 1%. Iron phosphate is a natural and a safe um, uh, slug killer and snail killer. And it's perfectly natural and actually adds a, a, a benefit to your soil because that iron phosphate becomes available to plants. The other 99% of these pellets is just stuff that the snails like to eat. The other option you can use, which I don't recommend, uh, is uh, the snail bait that contains the chemical. I believe it's called uh, metaldehyde. I think that's how it's, it's pronounced, metaldehyde. And that is not safe for your pets and for children to get on your skin and stuff. It's just a, not, a, not a very nice chemical. It'll kill snails, but uh, why, why use the dangerous stuff if you can use something that's a little more safe? And this stuff works. I use it every year. I put it in my garden and the, the snails and slugs uh, tend to disappear. The way it works, from what I understand, is that this uh, iron phosphate, the snails eat the, the bait, and the iron phosphate uh, causes them to stop eating and they simply die. They go away and die. And that's what we want because uh, I don't like snails in my garden. I don't like the holes that they leave behind. You can eat the food that snails have uh, nibbled on, but it's unsightly. And too many snails can really uh, ravish a, a, a crop, especially some lush greens that you're trying to eat. So I want to take you over and look at my perpetual spinach, and I'll show you how easy it is to use this stuff. So let's go to the garden. Sam's eating our perpetual spinach. <laughs> what do you think? Has it got any snails in it? Yeah. <laughs> well, this is my perpetual spinach, and you can see here that I got holes all in the leaves. And in the morning, you can come out here, oh, there's a nice little ladybug. Welcome to my garden. I like those around. But you can see down here, in the crook of that, I don't know if it'll focus, there's a snail down there. And there are snails all over this in the morning. And while they haven't done a whole lot of damage, I want to head it off while I can and deal with them. Because uh, it's not fun when you pick a bunch of this and take it in to cook it and you have to clean every single leaf because of snails. So they're down in here. We're going to just sprinkle some of this snail bait around. They've also attacked my onions. You can see those couple of spikes there that have been chewed off. They've literally destroyed some of my onions. So we're going to deal with them today. So this stuff is uh, natural and it's safe to handle with your hands. Just don't get it in your eyes. It comes with these little pellets. So you just sprinkle them around. You don't want it to pile up. You just kind of sprinkle it around on the ground. And that's all you have to do because the snails and the slugs really like this stuff. Those little guys right there, that's what we're after. So we're just going to kind of spread it around here on the ground where we have an infestation. And you know, that ought to do. Maybe a little more. That's that. And I'll wash my hands real good. This is the garden snail. I don't really know what species they are, but they're the common garden snail. And they get pretty good size around here, but most of the little ones are the ones that do the, the damage. You got armies of those guys hiding down there in that thicket. Snails like to get down here and live among the uh, litter on the bottom of your garden, especially in these shady places, places that are perpetually shady and have lots of mulch down in there. Your snails will get down here and hide out during the day, and they'll come up during the night and, and uh, eat the plants. So uh, you can see this happens to be a dead one here. 
but uh, yeah, it's an easy method to control these vermin, these pests. All right, well, there you go. That's how you deal with snails. That's how I deal with snails. Uh, do you have a method you'd like to use? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for subscribing to our channel. If you haven't done so already, please do so. And uh, like our videos and share them around, and we'd appreciate it. Well, until next time, I'll talk to you later. Take care.